We back. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we have to go fight. Uh, we have to go in the lake now, don't we? Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, yes. We end up taking the boat back there. So, a buddy of mine, he's he mentioned how the game volume, as you guys just noticed it there, how it kind of dips up and down. That isn't a mic issue at all, and it may sound weird, but uh, my software, the Elgato software, they came out with a new feature a few years ago that it reduces the game volume when I'm speaking, so I'm not basically competing with the sound. Because I think a lot of the time you had to do separate recordings, like I had to... Um, <clears throat> Well, you did back then. You had to do a audio clip separately, generally using QuickTime if you're on a Mac, and then you record the game footage by itself. And then they added the commentary feature to this where it would just be all in one clip, but then you had to really balance it that way. And you had to turn the game volume down like a good amount where it stayed stagnant, and then you recorded your commentary over that where it was louder. But then they came out with it where it dips up and down when I speak, so... You guys can hear me, and you can still hear the game volume, but not as loud. So, that's generally what's going on. <clears throat> Just to answer that, if anybody else thinks it's weird. I know a lot, of, a lot of people, it's common, so it doesn't really come up, but he must not have ever heard it before. I don't know. So, we put the boat fuel in, but I realize that the map shows the emblems there. So, I'm going to get the rest of these. Whoa, what's that? It's right there. So we need to go back. Wait a minute. It said this one is in the fishing area, right? So that should be back over here. So we're just going to get the rest of these. <clears throat> Real quick. I'm making sure my fucking mic volume's on. Or my mic is checked because ugh, that remake demo really pissed me off. That I didn't get the sound. So it looks like. We got all of them there. So it looks like we do have to go back to that area. So we're fine that way. I like the map shows it. At least where I don't have to keep looking around. It does not the OG as well but. I kind of remember where all of them are just by playing it so much. See, so I'll have the thumbnail, or not the thumbnail, I'll have the timestamp. That's the word I was looking for. I'll have the timestamp pinned in the comments, so if you guys just want to not have to go through all of this and I just realized it's just right here <laughs> so you won't have to anyway there it is Boop. A I got that one easy 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 don't be stupid there we go got all the medallions let's get it I don't know why I thought it would be further away there's a treasure oh it's in that little box right that I can't get I just walked past these resources what the fuck Take these. What else is on the map here that I can get? Um. Whoa! No, I like the fixed. Um. Yes, yeah, so we can cash this in now and get the spindles. Okay, so we can keep these, I guess. That can be put into certain things, which we don't need. <clears throat> we sell the Viper. Uh, 
Yeah, because we're going to run into more snakes. We can probably tune something up. I kind of want to repair that. Yeah, we'll repair that. I can upgrade it. Yeah, we definitely want to upgrade the knife. We want to get durability for sure. The power of the knife is very crucial. I don't know why I thought that medallion was going to be further away. <clears throat> and we're going to get the laser sight for sure. Bring back the old school feel. Oh, you can see the castle. Look at that. Even on PS4, you can see almost every detail in that castle. And I always forget <clears throat> to turn my monitor down. I go back and forth playing 2K a lot, so. Oh, our L one's to ready it. Okay, that's different. Aw. Oh. Yeah, he actually throws the harpoon more realistically now. It's not just like a straight shot. Like Leon was Leon was a javelin master in the for in the OG. But now you have to actually take drop into consideration and um moving. Movement. Movement and drop you have to focus on, which I think's a, a nice touch. Damn it. Got him. Okay, you just have to hit him. You just have to tag him. I thought I was hitting him, but... Whatever, this isn't a hard fight. Nothing crazy to it. Feels very reminiscent of the OG, which is nice. Because it did not need changing. And I hate when games kind of change stuff when they don't need to. <gasps> oh! Now see, I like that better, where he comes out of the water, instead of just his... where he just, like, the top of him comes out. He actually does a whole leap. I said, I know I hit you there. I don't know why he throws another one after I throw it. I put it away, and then he still throws one. It's really weird. I think it almost does, like, a double thing. Like, if you aim it, he'll also throw it. Yeah, he does. So you don't even have to press R2, which is weird. Like, why would it tell you to press R2 if you don't have to? Now, can I hit him as he's moving to the sides of me? Oh, I can hit a barrel. Does that barrel even do anything, though? Okay. This fight's a little long. He takes a lot more damage now. 
it seems. That's what I'm saying, Leon. He's way tougher than when you fought him before. Delago's been eating his Wheaties. That's good, though. He's a big-ass fucking monster. I mean, he shouldn't be easily defeated. Beautiful throw. Got him right in the fin. Man, Del Lago looks great. I gotta commend Capcom. I was like, damn, it doesn't even seem that dark, but I remember I had to turn up the brightness because it was a little it was a little dark on the screen there. You guys couldn't see shit. Condor one to roost. Do you read me? Yeah, I'm fine. Won't let it happen again. I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Alright, chapter 4. We can't go back out there, so it must not be dark enough yet. Because we know that we can go back out into the water. Plenty of handgun ammo, we'll take that. Who's that? Hmm. Oh, a police hat. Okay. Okay, it is dark. I still want to be able to go on the boat, though. <clears throat> I got some pesetas. We're saving up for that knife upgrade. Because weapons are good to have, but that knife gets you out of jams. Which way now? Which way am I supposed to go? Right there, see? I'm not supposed to go up this way, so this is the way I want to go. Only 600? Oh, yeah, because I repaired the knife. I was wondering why my paces, my paces, my pesetas were so low. Oh, yes, please, mate. Give me that. Do I have a green? On me as well? Yes, I do. I have a green, red, and yellow. Let's go. Do not close that. Yellow, red, 
green. Nice, we got a health upgrade. A little bit of texture drops, but nothing major. I'm running on a 2014 PS4, so the fact that I can even play it is amazing enough. Plug a baby, let's go! Really, bruh? Get the fuck back. Yeah, the rifle always does it. I saw your shadow. Oh, are you serious? He said the same thing. Don't be fucking nervous. I want to soup up the rifle for sure, but you can get the semi-auto rifle. Which, that's going to be my plug -a killer. So we want to make sure we're nice and souped up with that. So we want to get as much treasures, everything as humanly possible. So, oh, we got another merchant. Alright, that's good. We have plenty of handgun ammo. Our handgun is stronger. Oh, the, they, they kept the maze, didn't they? The castle maze. That's going to be rough. Oh, bats. Oh, this is dark as shit in here. I'm just looking on the software. It looks like you guys will be able to see it. What is this place? <clears throat> Some kind of shrine. Same mark from the church. What? There's things that I need to put there. I don't have them. Is this the key? What? Okay, so I have to get things and put them back there, it seems. Let's look at the map. Um... Okay, that's water. Oh, there must be another boat. It's the lake. Yeah, I think there's another boat that I can get. Yes, investigate the two locations. I fucking will. You best believe I'm gonna. Is there something here? Who's here? Nobody? Okay. Oh, that looks like hanging ammo. I was excited. Thank you. Old way shrine key. Hmm. What's that for? Does it say? Oh, is it those boxes? That I couldn't get before, maybe? It says throughout the village, so maybe I can just use that. Three spindles for a gold chicken egg? That's it? I'm definitely going to do that. Okay, we had another boat. Excellent. I was concerned, like, we can go to these separate locations. But I want... I need a boat. And the other boat broke down. I will not lie. I do not lie to my people. I saw... I accidentally saw a spoiler. And it's right here. And I am not proud of it at all. I'm really not. <laughs> And I was a little mad that I saw the spoiler, because I didn't mean to see it. Okay, there was a fucking interruption, so I'm back. So, like I mentioned before, I did see a minor spoiler. I didn't want to act surprised or anything like that. I didn't want to fake you guys. You know I don't do that. I ain't about that bullshit. But, you go to the middle, in the lake, as you saw where I drove up to. And then in here is the one. I gotta make sure I have space <laughs> before I do this big reveal. It is the one, the only. Alexandrite? What? Was I duped? Was I duped? Oh, it's in here. Okay. The one, the only, the red nine. It was in the other case. <laughs> it was in this lovely case. So, yes, I didn't want to act surprised. 
and I accidentally saw that. I swear to God, I didn't look up anything on this game. I was just watching a review video, and it happened to be in there. But I wasn't going to fake no reaction. I was just going to be up front. That's how I am. So we have the Red Nine, which is a little fucky because, like, you can't just buy it this time around. Oh, you run over there and get pastas or pesetas? That's pretty weird that you have to actually look for it now. Ooh, chicken farm. Hey, is this a little homage to Resident Evil 5? What's up? If you guys remember, if you played Resident Evil 5, you can, uh, there's a little chicken farm. So this must be where I can get the golden egg. You kind of just got to wait. We are going to use one for health, though. Oh, we can grab a couple, because we need more than one, I guess. Because the Plaga did kind of a good amount of damage on us. Did you lay the golden? Lay the gold, my son. I trust all of you chickens. Yeah, it's totally a little chicken farm. We can take a brown egg for health. Perfect. Uh, we're going to make some ammo here, because we have... Oh, the red nine. I can't believe it. A large nine is burned into the grid to prevent the user from loading incorrect ammo. Oh, wow. Let's see what it looks like. I gotta see it. Oh. Damn. 150 for its base damage. What does this have for... Fully upgraded, it's 1.6. See, so yeah, the red nine is still better. And we're definitely gonna sell the handgun to have that. 100%. I don't remember if it always had it to where you got all your money back. Didn't they? I'm going to have to do another playthrough of Resident Evil 4 because, I mean, why not? Just to see. So first of all, first of all, first of all, um, old Lakeside Settlement. Okay, there's treasure there. Um, I want to go there. But first things first, we're going to go back to our homie, the merchant. But there's locations everywhere I can discover. Oh, that's the that was the default one. That's where I came from. Okay, yes, yeah, so we don't want to go there. We don't want to go there. If we go down through... Hold on. Down through here. Our merchant's here. Oh, he's over here. We want to hit these barrels because they have pesetas in them. Where's this going to take me? Hello. We're curious. I'm sorry I keep looking at the map, but... Oh, that's the large shrine that we got to go to. Okay. Uh, but if we keep going this way, where does it take us? Oh, yes! This area here is where I wanted to go back to. I gotta remember, because since I had that little interruption, that that's not gonna count towards my time. Is that the key that they were talking about here, for this thing here? For these little boxes? Is that what they... Is that what the key, that, what the key is? It is. Splendid bangle. Oh, we can put gems in there! So do I still have that key? Is that like a skeleton key? It is! Okay. See, it's just like old school Resident Evil, where you need to get certain things, and then you need to go back to it. So this one just has two gemstones. Let's inlay. It only holds two? Doesn't hold three? Gemstone bonuses. Oh, you can look that up. Yeah, five colors would definitely have the most. A duo and a trio, that makes sense. So it's always best to have two, it's always best to have two of the same color. Yeah, the same color is always the best one. If you can do it. Okay. That's worth 16 grand? God damn. That's a nice ass bangle. We're kicking ass right now. So I can go back and get all that treasure. I mean, y'all are here with me. I mean, if that's what y'all want to do, we can we can totally do it. 
I'm game. Pesetas. I feel like that's what I want to do. For this part. Sort of break up the monotony of doing the same stuff. But hold on. It shows that I can explore a little bit there. Oh, okay. It just shows that I've been there. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha. So we can go this way, and that takes us... Oh, that just takes us all the way around. You know what? I kind of want to see inside this cave here. There's pesetas along the way, so we definitely want to go this way. Oh, hell yeah. Even though there are a hundred, every little bit helps. Oh, fucking right! Look at all the pesetas! Look at that! Alright. My apologies if I just keep checking the map. We need the other piece of the that little puzzle, don't we? I low-key want to go back and get all those treasure boxes now. I don't know about y'all. I kind of want to do it. So, let's go back. Ah, right here. Yeah, as soon as I saw that you could get the red nine, I was just like, oh my god. I was happy, but I was bummed because it's like... I kind of wanted to discover it on my own, because I know I would have, but at the same token, I didn't want to miss it. So I'm kind of glad that I saw it, but I wasn't going to... We don't fake no reactions over here. We don't do that. This channel is 100% authentic. So we're going to go back to our merchant, because we have some shit to cash in. We have some stuff to sell. I think that would have been cool if he had a, like, wherever the location was when you last seen him would be where he's at. Because it's like, this motherfucker moves quick. <laughs> I've got something new for you, <gasps> what? How does he have another case upgrade right now? What? He's not supposed to. The next upgrade's supposed to be when you go to the castle. Merchant, I hate you. Because now, wait a minute. 42 grand I put into that? Goodness gracious me. Guess what? We can now buy the case. Yes, I uh, Tune up. Red 9, baby. That's what's up. Get one upgrade for that. We're going to get reload speed for it because it, I remembered it reloads slow. Rate of fire. We'll put that up. And then we'll put ammo capacity up. Excellent. And then we'll save our pesetas for now just to see what we're rocking with. Oh, we have more... Uh, we have more options now. Black at the shake. That's cool. Rip barrel high powered scope. Ooh, that's nice. TMP stock. Ooh, I want that. Can I buy the red nine stock? I can't. Shit. You must be. You must have to be able. You must have to buy that as well, or get that in a thing as well. So we're gonna put this lovely beast on the shortcut. What we're going to do is we're going to reload our rifle. Reload the red 9. Because we have up capacity. 10. Excellent. We have more space, don't we? Move this. And then we'll just switch these. Perfect. And we can make some ammo. We need some handgun. So let's make some handgun ammo real quick. Shotgun shells wouldn't hurt. And I only have small resources, but I don't have any I barely have any gunpowder. Can I combine these? No, I can't. That's kinda shitty. But we have a good amount of handgun ammo now. So Let's see how far back that I can go. Because there was another treasure. Oh, there's another treasure like right around the corner. I remember this one. <clears throat> yes. We can unlock all these boxes now. Butterfly lamp. Yes, sir. I can't wait to find the Novista doors. So those take three. Now we did look up. If we put three of those red ones in there, 
we get the bonus. So let's look at the bonus. Trio is 1.4. And it can only hold three anyway. So we might as well do the three reds. Because that'll do better than three of the same color. Put that in there. That in there. And that in there. Hold on. Go to number three, please. There we go. Perfect butterfly lamp. 21,000 pesetas that's worth. I don't know if going that way will trigger the El Gigante fight or not. I'm not 100% on that. We can always wait and get the treasures while we're going through. Because you do have to backtrack. Like, you have to backtrack all the way to the village anyway. So it's not going to matter. Welcome. Got a selection. Good things on sale, stranger. Thank you. So you do want to keep all of your gems. Uh, the rifle. Hold on. TMP. Your weapons are in good hands, Reload speed to the TMP. Ah, they don't give as much ammo in this one. This is our Plaga Killer, but we're going to be getting rid of this soon. But I haven't upgraded the power on it at all, and it upgrades the power quite substantially. So we'll definitely do that. Shotgun. Hmm. The Red Nine we're going to keep till the end of the game, so we want to definitely invest in this more. But we'll just, we'll just wait, because we get more treasures to get. So I think we'll end this part. Because I feel like we're going to have a lot to do. <clears throat> So guys, that was this part. We got to kill Del Lago. It was a, I loved it. I loved the way that they did that fight. It looked really awesome. Del Lago had an amazing amount of detail to him. I really appreciated that. And we got the Red Nine. And I guess I helped a lot of you get the Red Nine because I showed you exactly where to get it and how to get it. So guys, I will see you in part six.